Hello, survivors. Welcome back to Salt. We're on a new island after having defeated the mighty Captain Bobo and his merry band of battlemasters somewhere down that way that's to the south. Yeah, over there. I have decided to jump in my sailboat and head north. And I found this island, which is uh, quite rich in resources and fresh meat. And decided to settle down and do a bit of... Are you ready for it? Ta-da! No. No, no. Not pole vaulting. No. <laughs> it's a fishing pole. <laughs> Check it out. We can fish now. Now, I made this pole because I finally found some strong fiber. And it was just a random chance. I picked up a, a bit of fiber. And instead of getting a normal fiber, which is what you typically get, I got a strong fiber. And if you look at our survival guy that we found over on... Uh, Bobo's Island. Uh, it tells you that you need, you know, normal plant fibers are not quite good enough. But you can find extra strong ones that will do the job, which I have done. Lastly, a ripe fruit tree, which is the red stuff here, is the bobber, or dauber, or float, depending on what you call it and where you're from, essentially. I think I've always called it a bobber. Um, so we have that, and also the, uh, the fine bamboo shaft that we found simply by walking through a bamboo patch, right? So now we're going to do some fishing. I've actually done a little bit here just to test it out, and I, I have caught a few fish. I've got smallmouth sea bass, and you can just eat these guys raw. They're just little appetizers. <laughs> um, this one's a medium sea bass for 150 food, whereas the small is only 50 food. Let's just... Mmm. Nothing like a fresh fish right out of the sea. That one's actually two days old. Uh, <laughs> I salted it. Now, eventually, we're going to be able to fish, uh, um, cook these guys on fires. It's just not implemented yet. It is early access game, so we'll just have to wait for that. But I'm going to show you how to fish. So here we are on the shoreline, and you can fish from the shore. You can fish from a boat. Um, you just obviously need water, maybe even fish in an inland sea. And one thing that Lava Boots, the developer, is very conscientious about is they want to make this fishing experience very... Um, superstitious and mysterious, as mysterious as the game itself. As a common theme here in Salt, is uh, casually exploring and finding things that you've never seen before, all kinds of secret stuff out in the world. And fishing is no different. So we're going to squat here and see if we can't catch a fishy. Wait for the bobber to disappear, and I'm going to reel it in. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes. There are conditions that may be considered, and that's where the mystery comes in, or the superstition, I should say, as uh, Lava Boots puts it. In fact, I'm going to put a link down below to their dev blog post on fishing. They go into great detail. It's a very philosophical thing. So, yeah, part of their philosophy is very much like the game itself. They want it to be, uh, number one, number one, relaxing. Um, number two, they want it to be satisfying. And number three, they want it to be somewhat superstitious. And apparently... This is just a terrible spot to fish because I had much better luck on the other island I was on. Maybe it's just a bad spot. Maybe the, the fish aren't biting. There we go. Got it. Whew. I caught a medium sea bass. A medium mouth sea bass. Got a few of those. So clearly you can see that it is satisfying in that it does provide... Um, a purpose, and the purpose, one of the purposes is obviously food, so it's a practical purpose. You can fish for food. If you can't find any elk or any fruit to eat, or cupcakes from pirates. I wonder who baked those cupcakes. Certainly not Captain Bobo. Um, <laughs> or maybe he did. He looked like a tougher guy than that, but hey, I'm a tough guy, and I make cupcakes. So that's one of the things they want, is to make it satisfying. They don't want it too complicated. Right? I mean, complex fishing mechanics can be interesting in some games, but I don't really think it fits well in the grand scheme of things with regards to salt. It's easily done, easily accessible, and it is relaxing. Um, and that's, that's what they want. So overarching goal is to make it kind of peaceful, where you're sitting here with the waves uh, and the crashing of the waves on the shoreline, and maybe the sun is setting. And all those conditions, in fact, might actually have an effect on what you catch. And where, you know, uh, what type of fish. 
But that's something else that they talked about is being satisfying. There's very many kinds of fish. Um, some are useful, some are not. Um, and uh, and there's other th stuff that you can find apparently too. I, I don't really know, but that's that's part of the mystery. That's what they want you to find out is trying various conditions. Maybe fishing off a boat um, under the moonlight. Or maybe a shore, or fishing off the shore uh, in, in the afternoon. Um, or maybe try, obviously trying different baits, or trying different biomes. Or maybe an inland water as opposed to a coastal water or, or an ocean. So these are some of the things that, um, that they talk about in their blog posts. And they're far more eloquent about it than I am and more interesting. I can't really uh, relate what they said very well, but you should check it out. I'll put a link to that blog post down below. It's, like I said, it's very deep and philosophical, and it goes to, to prove that Lava Boots is really putting a lot of thought into this game. It's not just, hey, let's slap together this Unity game where we sail on boats and fight pirates and find treasure. No, it's much deeper experience than that. And uh, you should definitely check out their blog and read about it. So the fishing mechanic is is not quite done. They're still adding more content to it. They want it to be a big part of, of salt. So that was a big bass. That's 300 food. Wow, that's almost as much as the meat. Deer meat. Pretty darn good. Now, I wonder... Can I... I'd like to take that out and look at it. I guess you can't put it in your hand. It's too bad. Let's just have a small... Oh, let's have a medium bass right now. Now, I suppose my deer guts are still working. I don't... Oh, okay. I guess you have bait. Yeah. My bad. As long as you have bait, you'll be able to cast. If you don't, it'll say you can't cast. So that, that makes sense. Now I don't have to guess. Alright, let's head back over here. I think we're going to go hop on the boat, and we're going to try some different fishing conditions and see what else we can catch. I know there's a lot of variety of fish. There's actually more than just the bass. And that's one of the mechanics that makes it so much fun is that they want you to keep coming back for more and trying to catch all the various types of fish and share that with uh, with other people in the community. You know, they want you to to talk about it and tell others where you found your specific fish. Like maybe you caught a um, a perch or something. Ooh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> this boat's not going anywhere. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go, wind. Give us a push. There we go. Um, first of all, I want to make sure I'm heading north. Because I want to continue on north. Always, always north. So yeah, one of the things that they want, as far as the mystery and superstition goes, is... They want people to find things out here in, um, in Salt. And get on the subreddit or a website. Uh, the forums or whatever. And then share those locations with others. And that's what the sextant is for. And maybe give out secrets about their fishing. And, and and that kind of parallels real life, doesn't it? As a fisherman, we always have, like, what works and what doesn't. You know, and you always try to tell other people, like, okay, here's here's what I did. You take your... Okay, you want to take your... your, uh, your uh, plug, and you, you cast it into some shade, so you want a nice tree cover, around some lily pads, and uh, you, you, you stand on one foot... And you say, um, bite me now, fish, three times, and you'll catch a, the biggest large amount of bath ever. <laughs> I know that's goofy and it's, it was really dumb, but that's kind of the, 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 the point I'm trying to make is that there is some superstition involved, and especially in fishing, so it does really parallel real life very well, I think. And I think we're going to see a lot of that. So someone might say, hey... Uh, what you want to use is this particular bait. Try a grub under the moonlight on uh, while well, on a boat. And uh, maybe you'll catch a particular type of fish. In fact, it's not moonlight, but the sun is falling. I'm on a boat. Let's try something here. Oh, I need... I hate putting all ten of my worms on here, but... There we go. We'll, we'll fish here by the broken down pirate ship. and Hopefully we don't run into any pirates. So they, they literally want you just to set, kind of sit down. And I'm shuffling my feet, but... And, uh... Just fish by the, with the sun falling behind you or in front of you and watch the sunset. Listening to the waves crashing on the, uh, on the shore. 
Okay, well that was a medium mouth sea bass, so that's pretty much the same thing that I've already caught once, twice, or three times. You can also get bait fish. So you can use your bait fish as bait. So some of the bait that you lose here, you'll get right back, which is kind of a neat concept. But there's a lot of bait to be found. Obviously, I had a ton of bait on me. You find little mounds of earth here and there on the islands, and they'll hold grubs and worms. Let's see if I can catch something a little different on this side. I'd like to go to an inland pond. Like that. There we go. Bait fish. Now, I saw some pirates here. So, let's, um... I don't have enough materials to fix this thing up. And I'm sure the pirate chest is uh is locked up but let's let's sail around and see if we can't get to the there was a fire on the other side let's go around to the fire kill the pirates maybe sleep oh we'll do some fishing at night actually that's what we'll do all right let's catch a fish here in the dark i wonder if we even can how about if i make a campfire over here closer to shore We've got flintstone and that there we go Fire crafted. And we don't want it too close to the shore, but we do want it to light up the water if, it can, if possible. Can't be placed there. Oh, dang it. Hmm. Wow, it is dark. Okay, that was probably not worth it, but let's see if I can see my bobber. Nope, I'm gonna have to go by feel here. But I, I try I wanted to try some night fishing from the shore and see what happens. We do want to tell fish stories someday, right? That's what it's all about. I was by a fire on shore in the middle of night using worms as bait. And I caught a land shark. Uh, a small I mean a small mouth sea bait. No, I'm gonna tell him land shark, right? It's a fish story after all. <laughs> and I caught a 1,500 pound great white. I had to throw him back. I couldn't carry him. Medium sea bass. Okay, well. I know that there's other fish out there. That's the thing, and that's what keeps me going. And that's kind of the point, I suppose. We want to keep trying, keep trying, and keep trying. I'm going to rest through the night. Okay, let's try early morning with the sun rising on the horizon. Let's try this. Still can't see my bobber, but I do have some bait, which is nice. And I hear footsteps behind me. <laughs> oh, great! Hey, I'm just I'm just camping here next to your fire, sir pirate. Trying to catch a meal. Trying to catch a whopper. Oh, dear, here he comes. Just a regular pirate. Oh, you're going down, son. Haven't you heard of me? Hey, 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 I can't hit. Here's the hitbox thing. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Come on, we gotta fix that, folks. Uh, what is my bandage? Nope. There we go. I feel better. Okay, so let's try that again. I want to fish at sunrise. Oh, that's gonna make a lovely picture. Let's get rid of the HUD. And throw my line out. Oh, isn't that swell? And there's my boat right there, too. Oh, check that out. That's going to make a lovely, lovely, lovely screenshot. In fact, let's do this. Let's get the boat a little closer. Yeah, that's even better. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Plop. Oh, would you look at this screenshot? Best screenshot ever. Seaweed. Ah, that time I caught seaweed. That's something new. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Maybe it can be used in some sort of recipe. It's green and clumpy. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I know in real life you can eat seaweed. And it can be pretty healthy. And tasty if prepared properly. Bait fish. Maybe I should try a bait fish. And see what kind of... Maybe get bigger fish with bait fish. Hmm. We'll give it a try after this one. I caught a piranha! I just caught a piranha, guys. I'm out in the uh, in the bay here in deeper waters. 
I just can't stop fishing. So I decided to sail out here a bit. That was the island we came from. And I've got uh, I got the same bait on, on the hook. I think it's worms? What's the last thing I put on here, right? I'm pretty sure, anyway. So I just caught a piranha. Uh, uh, in, in the ocean. <laughs> sea piranha. <laughs> That's pretty strange. Now, I guess if I give out these coordinates right here, maybe other people can come out and do the same. It has to be maybe the same time of day, the same bait, uh, and obviously the same location in a boat. And maybe you, too, can catch a piranha. That's my fish story, and I'm sticking to it. I've got the video to prove it, too. All right, let's do one more, and then I want to go loot that pirate ship. I realized that I did actually have a couple of bronze keys on me. All right, guys, let's go loot this pirate ship. Since I do actually have a couple of bronze keys, that should be sufficient. And let's see if I can hop on getting in close. And can I grab onto that? Nope. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I need to work on my pirating skills, don't I? Can I not get up here, please? Hello? Boat. Oh, there it is. Got it. Let's bring out the torch. You can see a little bit better. And let's loot it up. No pirates in here, fortunately. Uh, nothing special. A dagger. Oh, cool. I think you can make those anyway, but that's a green one. Uncommon daggers for quick, deadly blows. Backstabs. I really want that backstab fixed. Christine, deer pelt, and hard arrows. Hard stone arrows. Okay, nothing great. But uh, anyway, I want to show you the, the, the piranha as well. Check it out. A saltwater piranha. Eating this will give you a small boost in strength. So this is a, a nice buff fish, I guess. Give us a little uh, strength boost and some food at the same time. So that must be one of the more rare catches, I would guess. So that's what I'm talking about as far as conditions being right. Um, and also the, you know, the, the satisfying mystery involved in fishing. Can I walk on the... I can! The beam? What is this thing called? The pokey beam out front? Pokey beam. It's like a Pokemon, but different. <laughs> I'm going to get on shore. And then save it and call it quits. Pokey beam. All right, let's just climb up here. There we go. Lovely place. Call it a night right here. All right, we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.